Hey guys, it's Emily, and this is kind of a last minute decision that I just made. We're gonna see how it goes, because this video is not planned at all, but we'll see what happens with it. So today I'm telling you my TBR, hopefully I'm gonna try to participate. I was looking, I'm trying to participate in the readathon because I'm just getting back into reading and readathons do help me. I'm participating in the Strainathon, which goes from the 26th of February to the 4th of March. I'm just like looking at this thing. There's challenges. I haven't read through them all, but I read a couple of them and I'm like, okay, these are like the books I kind of want to read right now, so it's perfect timing. I'm gonna do it. Let's get into my TBR that I'm just figuring out right now. So I'm gonna be like grabbing books off my shelf um, and figuring this out. Also, I'm trying to make read 100 books this year and I need to catch up because I'm really behind right now. So this is also a good thing. Challenge number one is read a book with ro no romance or minor to the plot. And for that, I'm actually currently reading this book. So if I'm done reading it before the readathon, um, there's two other books in the series. So it will work out fine. <laughs> um, but that is Ever After High, Story Book of Legends by Shannon Hale. This book is basically about Ever After High, but if you don't know what Ever After High is, it's about this like school that um, is for ch children of fairy tale characters, and they um, they go and they go there, like they have to like take their parents' destiny. So the main characters is Apple, who is the daughter of Snow White, and Raven, who is the daughter of the evil queen. So Raven has to take the legacy of the evil queen. However, Raven does not want to be the evil queen in Snow White. So she decides not to sign the storybook. And so, yeah, uh, there's a TV series cartoon and it's really good. So probably gonna rewatch the cartoon after I'm finished reading the series. I have the trilogy and I've owned it for so long. I have read this, so this is a reread, but I don't remember anything that happens because I've read this just before I got into reading because I read this book, it took me months, I remember. And then I read the selection and then I was obsessed with reading after that. So, yeah. Challenge number two is to read a book with a negative word in the title. What does that mean? Word in the title? So like, just like not uplifting. Uh, Cruel Beauty by Rosemond, Rose, Rosemond Hodge. I've been wanting to read this, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I guess it works in the fairy tale theme. I feel like it's a fairy tale theme now. Um, cruel. Cruel's a negative word. This book is a Beauty and the Beast you're telling, and that's all I know. That's all I know about this. And I know there's like a companion novel. I think that's Alice in Wonderland, but don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. But I'm just like Beauty and the Beast you're telling. So I love Beauty and the Beast. It's like my favorite. Besides Mulan. Short story collection or a novella. Perfect! So I'm going with Because You Love to Hate Me by a bunch of people. Four, read the next book in a series you started. Doubling up here. <laughs> if I finish the Storybook of Legends before the readathon, therefore I could double up and be like, I'm gonna read the unfairest of them all. Read a book with less than 220 pages or more than 450 pages. Read a book with Fred on the cover. Boom! Read a book that will make you cry. Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. See, these challenges are really perfect. I got this from the library the other day. So, Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. This is a sad synopsis. It's basically, I probably will cry, but if I don't cry, well, I can't force tears, okay? But it sounds like a sad book. So it's basically about this girl and she, it's back in World War II, and she, her, Hitler's her uncle, but she ends up falling in love with a Jewish reporter, so sounds interesting. And the F up challenge is accidentally pick a book that doesn't fit in any challenges. So would this count in any of the challenges? Let's look here. Perfect! This is kind of my TBR. As you've noticed, I have been gone for a while and there is two reasons behind that. So basically why I have been gone. The main, one of the main reasons is I was in a reading slump. So I wasn't in the mood to read. I think I even mentioned in like one of my, some of my readathon and TBR videos that I was in a reading slump and I was not in the mood to read and film videos and talk about books because I just was not in the mood for it. I also got a choice addiction. I think that 
I think choices was definitely a big part of it too because I was playing choices so I felt like I was reading because in choices you read a lot and you just like choose things it's like a playable story it feels like you're reading a book the second reason is because I actually literally couldn't there was actually not a possible I mean I could have been on my laptop but I was lazy um basically what happened is my home server crashed and that's where i put all my videos on because i put the memory card in my mom's computer and then i downloaded it on and then i could go to my computer and i did it and people probably like well emily why don't you just like do it on your computer like why don't you download it on your computer put the memory card on your computer boom problem solved right no um i didn't actually have this a lot at the time and i kept asking my dad and he wouldn't do it and so he did, finally did do it so therefore i can now be back on youtube and he wants me to put it on my computer now so yeah so yeah that's basically where i've been and as the update to a channel um i'm not doing specifically book stuff anymore like i'm doing book stuff and i probably will do mainly book stuff it's probably gonna end up being book stuff but i do have ideas for other videos that i really really want to do so uh i'm just not gonna be in a specific category on youtube and i don't think there's any pressure with that like you don't have to be in a specific category on youtube like i've seen like like other booktubers go out and do like other things they usually make other channels but i'm not doing that i'm just gonna stay on this channel for everything and i there's a possible chance i might be changing my username that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I'm becoming basic. If you did, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this lovely face. I feel like I was looking in the camera for like half of this. We're gonna see how this goes. Actually, it could be like even less books on my TV. We'll see what's gonna happening during that time. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Forgot to mention that I will be vlogging for the whole time. Hopefully, I'm gonna try my best and try to vlog it. We'll see what happens.